Welcome everybody. Robert 100 Natural Bodybuilding. Uh, in my channel today I'm gonna talk about relation between diving and bodybuilding. Uh, I just uh, I put a few days ago a very short movie uh, about diving and bodybuilding uh, but uh, but this is bigger subject and that required make a uh, just regular uh, 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 movie about relation between diving and bodybuilding. So there is a, a strong connection between uh, two of them. Why? Because equipment is is simple, heavy. Okay, what heavy we have here? So this is typical uh, typical uh, set for diving. Uh, with the dry suit so uh, most heavy thing is that one this is set with the tank and the jacket this is standard jacket uh, mm, uh, with the uh, regulators pipes hoses uh, console and the tank so this this is heavy and that's that's the weight of this one is 23 kilos right uh, so you have already 23 kilo and after that the most heavy is that one this is weights uh, to they this weights let me uh, deep uh, with the diving uh, deep uh, sink uh, without this I cannot so I have to carry that one so all of them having around 9 kilos so okay uh, so 23 and 9 31 kilos uh, sorry 29 uh, 23 okay 29 and 3 32 kilos yes so we have already 32 kilos right and uh, what else is heavy here of course we have to carry the uh, pins it's about uh, i don't know three kilos maybe maybe two kilos two kilos one kilo is a uh, uh, belt for weights with the pockets right and then uh, there is uh, the dry suit right and there is a uh, gloves uh, hoodie mask uh, the pink the pink in a, in a dry suit or any suit is uh, they are not lights and when we diving when we moving actually uh, we need uh, more more uh, used to power to to moving because it's like a rubber right it's like a rubber so if you uh, uh, train on the gym by by uh, rubber bands it's resist it's also kind of resist when we walk so we need used to more power to make any movements so that's that's also kind of difficulties uh, so how much kilo i said 32 uh, ah, 32 33 34 and this one uh, uh, 32 and 23 32 and then uh, it's easy easy to tell that all of this could be around uh, 40 kilos of course i didn't wait uh, make measurement all of them uh, for sure this this 23 and this is uh, 9 uh, so all together combined could be 40 kilos now uh, so I show you how it looks like the equipment about the weight. Right. This camera. Okay. Look at these weights. Sorry about that. Okay, so when you already 
how heavy is it? So we have 40 kilos. Okay, beginning of dive. We if we dive, we have a two kind of dives. <coughs> one is from shore, and the second one is from boat. Let's start from shore. The place where I dive, uh, it's uh, close to the uh, place where I can uh, dive, but I have to park the car uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on a footpath, and uh, I have to wear all equipment, then I have to walk through the tarmac of the road, watch the cars, watch the curbs, then uh, go uh, uh, to the footpath, then I have a, uh, the concrete stones down to the sea, then I have a rocks, right? I have a, many rocks and they are not nice like a stairs, but I have to walk and it's difficult because you carry 40 kilos, right? So uh, for, for uh, uh, that carry 40 kilos, we need to be strong. And after that, uh, when we jump into the water, we, we must know the place exactly where we could jump and remember that place. And it's easy. We just, uh, before we have to, of course, check equipment, then uh, we put air in a jacket, then and we jump, we remove the air from the jacket, and we sink. And the water, it's easy. We, like a, we fly like a bird, it's no problem. Uh, right, but for that we use to the legs. Right, if you carry all equipment for sure, you need also be strong. Because for example, this is 23 kilo, but this is not with a, any, uh, it's, it's big. And it's not easy to hold that one. Uh, so even if we carry, we, we need to be strong because it's heavy, right? So uh, once we dive, once we dive, it's okay. Why we need bodybuilding? Uh, what for else we need a bodybuilding and a good condition? Uh, if something happened under the water, if uh, but could happen anything, this just this life, uh, we need to be strong, right? So, for example, uh, our lungs, lungs need a, uh, be need to having the big capacity. So, if we run, if we make exercise, our lungs are bigger. If the bigger, we can survive. We can use that one if something happened. Uh, of course, if we strong, if we have a, in our muscle glycogen, uh, creatine, uh, uh, also that help uh, us to survival. Why? Last time uh, when I dive, I dive too, too far away from the shore and when my air finish on the 50 bars, I'll go up. I went up, I put the air in my jacket and then I just find out uh, I'm kind of missing. I don't know where I am. So I was very far from the shore. So the homes, the, the shore was very small, very small homes. Uh, so uh, I have to swim. For swimming, you need to be strong. Because if you're weak, uh, you stay there and you simply die because uh, hypothermia. Easy to catch, hypothermia, uh, we already tired after diving, so it's good if we strong. It, it wasn't any tra tragedy for me, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, easy to swim there, but uh, that's uh, required the physical strong, be strong and the capacity to swim far. So as you see, sport as bodybuilding is very useful. Now, a uh, if you make exercise, what kind of uh, muscle using uh, the diver? Answer is all muscle. Uh, start from the shoulders. You have. You need to have a strong shoulders. Uh, you need to have a strong uh, catching, a strong hold in the forearms. 
because uh, that's required to hold, uh, for example, tank. Or if you have uh, all gear on, on your self, uh, legs. Uh, what about legs? You need to have a strong legs because you walk. You can imagine. Uh, did you try put 40 kilos on the on the gym and making the walk uh, across the gym? Yes, it's not easy. It's it's uh, required to be strong. Uh, what about the finish diving? That's also a question. So. Once you finish dive, you are weak, uh, already exhaust, right? So you have to uh, jump from the deep water to the shallow water, then you have to find out how to jump into the rock. So you can imagine how it looks like. Uh, but I tell you how it looks like, you do not need to imagine. Just simple. So you go to the shallow water, not deep, then you have to crawling. On a, on a knee and also on a uh, hands like this and then uh, if you're lucky if you uh, back to the place where you start diving that that's okay because you can you can uh, start to crawling and from that position if you are already safe if already there is no waves you have to stand up so you make a one step uh, forward right and then you have to stand up, right? And you have to balance, so again, you need the strong legs. Uh, because what happened if the waves, wave commit and you co collapse, right? So legs, 40 kilos, you already exhaust, you need to have a balance, and then you need a stand up. Good. So you need a strong legs. What about our back? Back also you need to have a strong because you, you carry that. So automatically back, you need to have a, a strong back. Now, what kind of, uh, uh, ah, this is not finished because after you uh, on the shore, on the rock, you have to walk again. There is no stairs. Uh, you have to jump from rock to rock. Then you have a stairs. So you need to go up with 40 kilos. And after that, uh, you have to across the footpath, tarmac, then you reach car. But not always sweet like this. Sometimes you think it is shallow water, and then you go there. It is shallow, and you walk on the rock. And after a while, what you see? Uh, you see it's it's rock finished, and again there is a water. So you want or not, you have to jump again to the water, and, and then again you have to go to shallow water find out the uh, entrance and then uh, after that you need the crawling slowly you have to watch because maybe uh, again wave hit you and uh, you hit yourself against the rock uh, we don't like this so you again need to control your body control your balance control your muscle so again you need to be strong I was trapped once time and then uh, after diving when I was on rock I just recognize I have to climb with the all equipment on my uh, shoulders so uh, the climbing with the uncomfortable uh, position is difficult uh, right and then and then after that I was very exhausted right uh, very tired so what kind of exercise is good for, uh, for diving. Of course, you have to make biceps, like that, to have a strong arms. Uh, for arms, right, that part, this is kind of exercise. We have uh, here uh, the uh, bar with weights, right? Or that one, this is for that part of for arms. Right? So already we, we can uh, hold something strong. Uh, legs. Of course, legs is very important. Uh, one of exercises who could help for to walk with the equipment, it's uh, uh, steps. 
So we we put we put our uh, the, the bar on, on our back and we make deep step. One right of course not like that, not the space for now. So our our the legs getting strong. What else? Of, or, of course, squats, full move, movement deep, right? Squats, what else? And just simply also uh, walk, but uh, of course we can walk steps and go forward, uh, similar for the exercise which I did uh, before. So one more exercise, it's a deadlift. We can hold like this. Or like this. So that exercise uh, uh, help, help us to carry equipment. Uh, what can I else? Uh, right. Uh, what can I say? Right. Uh, obesity. If we make exercise, uh, we are training well, we lose the bad weight. Right. You can imagine if someone, uh, the average obesity, for example, that will be 5 kilos, you have to carry 40 kilos plus 5 hour obesity. We have to carry that. We do not need uh, uh, obesity could have uh, many kind of faces. We can have a uh, lot of uh, visceral fat uh, in our belly around, or you can have a surrounded by our heart, whatever it, it is. It's not good to, uh, to have a obesity. I'm talking or, or about obesity. Uh, so uh, the bodybuilding help, help us for diving. So, uh, one more thing, kind of silly, if you uh, finish diving, right? So if you know you, you can jump uh, on the rock, you, you take off the fins. And after that, you have to carry fins. And usually fins, maybe, possible to see here, they're long, right? So that catch the ground. So avoid this, we have to hold like this. But after diving, you are tired. So if you hold like this, the pain already here in the forearms, but also in the biceps, right? And the shoulders as well. So that's kind of uh, silly things, but also important. It's the pain if you carry the things. Uh, somebody could say, okay, never mind. So I'm, I'm never uh, gonna dive from shore, but I'm gonna dive from boat. Boat. It's easiest, but again, uh, if we finish diving, uh, we, uh, we uh, swim into the ladder, then we hold, we take off the uh, fins, we, we give our colleagues uh, on deck uh, the, the fins, and then we step, right? If this is wavy, so we go up and down, up and down, up and down, so better on the up, wave is up, then we up, then we uh, hold the ladder, and uh, it's easy, right? Because we hold the ladder, we put the feet into the uh, step, and the sea go down, right? And suddenly we see, we feel the, uh, how he heavy we are. Because uh, when it's 40 kilos, the wave is up, it's light, but if water uh, is away, so the suddenly we feel like somebody, uh, uh, something uh, pulled down us. So, so that's why we need a strong legs. Uh, okay, that's it. So as you see, uh, the, it's, this, uh, it is relation between diving and bodybuilding and then, uh, uh, and that's help. So, uh, uh, 
one more thing that somebody why 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 uh, today uh, today's movie is about this because one of user asked me to to share one of the movie from diving of course this is channel is not about diving this channel is about bodybuilding i want to show you uh, only how important is be strong and then uh, what kind of relationship is with the uh, between two of them and uh, uh, Below this movie, uh, as somebody asked, there will be link from my diving. It's no problem. I can put that one. Uh, so have a have a look if you like. Uh, so thank you for subscribing, and uh, see you next time. Robert, 100 Natural Bodybuilding. Thank you very much.